All right then, so now we have Apollo Client set up and the provider surrounding our application components. Now we can start to make queries from those components. So we're gonna start with the homepage component. So let's open that up. And in here currently, we're fetching all of the reviews using the RESTful API endpoints and the use fetch hook that we created. So let's get rid of that for now. And as well, we need to get rid of the use fetch hook import at the top of the page. And instead, now we'll use a GraphQL query to grab the data. So first of all, we need to import two things at the top from Apollo clients, use query, and GQL. Now, use query is a hook that we can use to send a query to the GraphQL server. It's a bit like the use fetch one that we created, but instead of passing in an API endpoint as an argument, we pass in a GraphQL query. And the GQL function we import is used by Apollo to convert a query string into a format it can use. So let's make a query first of all. So the way we do this is by first of all, creating a constant outside of the component function itself. So I'll give this a name and it's gonna be called reviews. Now I've done this in capitals. That's just kind of like a convention. You don't have to do it in capitals. And we're gonna set this equal to GQL, which is what we imported right here. And immediately after that, we do our template string. So that's the back ticks found under the escape key on most keyboards. Now inside this template string is where we create our actual query. And that query is gonna look very much like the queries we used before, like this thing right here. So let us go back and create this query. So we'll say query and call this get reviews. And inside curly braces, oops, let's do this correctly. Get reviews like so. Inside curly braces, I'm gonna say I want the reviews and I want the title from each one, the body, the rating, and also the ID. So this right here is the query, but we're not actually sending the query yet. So it's not gonna go and try to fetch us some data. We need to use the use query hook in order to do that. And we do that inside the component. Now this hook is gonna to return to us the same things as the use fetch hook that we created before, loading, error, and data. So what I'm gonna do is create a const and destructure all of those three things, loading, error, and data. And we set that equal to use query, and we pass in the reviews query right here, this thing. So now it's gonna make the query for us to strap it, and strap it is gonna send us back these three things. And we're using now GraphQL to do this. So since it's sending back loading and error, we can keep these two things in. So it shows this template if it's loading and this if there's an error. Now, the data we also get, but if we save it right now, it's gonna be an error in the browser. And I'll tell you why in a second. It says data.map is not a function. And that's because if you look back to our template, we take the data and map through it. Now we have the data right here, so why can't we map through it? Well, if we take a look in the console where we output the data up here, you can see it's an object. And inside that, there is a reviews property. So this is the data object, then a reviews property. And we can map through that array, but not the object itself. So we have to say data.reviews.map. Oops, not in capitals. Reviews.map, like so. And now this should work. So if we close that off, we can see now this works. Awesome, so that's how we can get data using GraphQL instead. We just import these two things at the top. We make a query using this GQL thing right here and a template string. And then we use the use query hook. We pass in that query and that makes the request or the query to the GraphQL server on Strap It, which returns to us these three things. Next up, we're gonna do the same thing, but we're gonna do it inside the review details.